The next application we'll demonstrate is for a common condition known as PFPS, or patellofemoral pain syndrome. We will start by placing the patient's knee in approximately 30 degrees of knee flexion. Tear your first eye strip in the middle and apply equal tension across the middle third of the tape. We're looking to apply approximately 25% stretch on the tape for the first eye strip. By stretching the small hexagons of the exact stretch indicators to a symmetrical shape, you know that you're at 25%. Or if you're using a different brand, you can easily eyeball it by stretching the tape to 100%, backing down to 50, and then to 25%. Next, lay down the middle third of the tape over the inferior patella tendon, primarily the spot where they feel the pain, with a downward and inward pressure. Next, lay the anchors down on either end with no tension. Activate the adhesive prior to moving them to the moving to the next step. Next, I like to take my two eye strips and place the anchors down for both of them before I stretch either one. You don't need to do this, but it does help allow for more accurate application of the tape. Once the anchors are in place, peel the backing away of one eye strip, exposing the adhesive, but leaving just enough of the other anchor to be covered for easy handling. Stretch the tape from proximal to distal with about 25% stretch on both eye strips, running the tape along the lateral and medial aspects of the knee, anchoring the tape with no tension just below the inferior patellar tendon. These eye strips will provide a really nice proprioceptive input and support for the patient. Once applied, be sure to activate the adhesive prior to moving them back to, to a neutral position. The primary relief will be felt just below the knee where they are complaining of their pain. Remember, they should not engage in any rigorous activity for at least 15 minutes after the taping, assuring a good adhesive contact.